All right, hey everyone. Um, so this is my Dillon 550B that I have here, and um, I just want to start out by saying it's a great machine. I have very little complaints about it. Um, actually, I have just one complaint about it, and that's kind of what this video is about. So when I am pulling this lever to do the first stage here, which is basically you're decapping the primer out of it, and then you're gonna go ahead and size your, your brass here which is here I'm doing 45 ACP and then after you size it and decap the primer that's in it inside of it here um, what will happen is you push the lever forward and when you push the lever forward it will go ahead and put a new primer in the case well the issue I'm having as you'll see here and I called Dylan to try and um, get some support and they tried to help but it just they didn't fix my particular issue is when I go up this bar that comes down um, if you look up top it has like a pin and you can pull this in and out technically and what's happening is is right now when the lever's in the standard position it's this piece here is tied up against here and this is where your primers come out of but when I start pulling on the stroke here to to lift it up what you'll see is once it gets about past this metal piece it starts coming outwards this way so what happens is the case that one happened to go up inside the die right here, but normally what happens is it will not go up inside the die. So I'll try and generate that here. And it seems to be working, of course, when I'm on video, but as you can tell here, there's a little plastic roller and um, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod so you can see a little better. There's a little roller and this metal piece is supposed to be inside the roller, so I'll move it there. That's how it's supposed to be. And um, this basically up top here comes through and it's, there's a hole through this and it comes out the, the side and, and sits flush. Well, what happens is as you move the handle, go down and let's see you're gonna come up. If you watch down in here, it seems like it moves. Right now it's, it's fine. It's going inside the rollers like it's supposed to but over time it moves out and there's no pin where I can pin this against this piece here I'll see if the camera will focus but basically it's supposed to be right up against there like that there shouldn't be a gap and then over time as you continue to do this eventually up here in the case and I'll manually um, make it happen but this piece here will basically come come out this way so if I come up, see how far out that gap is now off this metal piece? Normally it's tight up against this edge. And then when I come up to the case, you could kind of hear it there. That's what happens. And as you can tell, this bar is not in the roller now. So again, I can push it over and it fixes the alignment, but it's just not staying. And the only thing keeping this um, pulley down low is just like a little tiny C-clip. There's no washer to space it and keep this one tight. And then same thing up here. There's nothing as you follow it up. There's nothing to keep this in. You know, like here, they use like a, a clip on my die as an example. And you'd think they'd do something like this so this doesn't move outwards. Um, I obviously could take like a um, vice, or sorry, um, a clamp, sorry, um, and I could take a clamp and obviously keep this clamp tight against it, but the problem is, and I can't do it with the camera and hold it while I'm recording, but I'll try and do my best. If I was to hold this against here and pull up, and it's really hard to see, but this um, plastic roller right here, this metal rod is no longer in the roller, so again, I have to push this so it meets inside the roller and now it's good and now if I go up it'll go inside the die so it just seems like it's an alignment issue like right now it's off again and up top it's actually tied up against this piece like it should be but down here and you could hear it click I have to move this so it's like it's moving outwards for whatever reason and I can push it and then it'll go in just fine but it's you know Granted, it's just a second, you know, but when you're trying to pump out a 500 or a 1,000 rounds, 
um, it's pretty time consuming, especially when it's just supposed to go right in there perfectly every single time. So I was just looking for some advice. Hopefully somebody out there has ran into the same problem and uh, they can suggest a fix for me. Maybe it's just as simple as bending this rod. I did try doing that and it didn't seem to help, but um, I don't want to mess anything up really with my machine and um, you know, just finagle with it basically just to try and make it work. I'd rather have somebody, if you've had this exact same issue, if you could just comment and let me know, I'd really appreciate it. That way I don't mess up my machine. Otherwise, it's a great machine. I have zero issues with it besides that one issue. You know, and as you can tell, you can hear it's hitting it because it's, it's off alignment. And you'll see, I'll push it this way and you can hear the click. So, I mean, it, it, and then it'll go right up inside there. But, you know, um, that's the only issue I'm having and hopefully I can get it straightened out. I've been reloading actually two years like this or longer probably now, probably four years, gosh, um, with this press. And I've always had this issue since I bought it. And um, I'm just now getting around to f trying to figure out how to fix it. So again, um, any information you guys could provide, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.